Hey, I know you didn't do anything. And you're, you, you just, you calling me a dummy? You calling me all these mean names? I didn't do anything. It's you. I hate you. I hate you, man. I hate you. This is it. I'm done. I'm done. I can't believe this, bro. What do you mean? You were my brother, Anakin. I loved you. Uh, I finally got the email that, uh, you know, who, who would have thunk, bro? It's apparently my fault. I got their son kicked out of Navy boot camp. I got their son. Why do I get emails from parents so much? I get, e I got, I get emails from moms and dads. So many parents, do you, which isn't a uh, bad thing per se. But this email I got a couple days ago, dude. Blaming me. Saying that it was my fault that her son got kicked out of Navy boot camp. That I told him to lie, bro. Or something. Alright, let me get this straight. Number one, I'm just, this is just going to be like a little short and sweet video. More boot camp videos coming soon, bro. Reaction episode freaking a million. Boot camp semen rapport episode 900,000. No, but for real, dude. I've never told anybody to lie to join the Navy or to lie to MEPS. A lot of people come to me saying they're recruiters. Tell them to not lie but to omit this or omit that. Let's be real, bro. Like if Seaman fucking Timmy, if you got uh, three stitches from falling off your tricycle when you were six years old and you forgot to tell them. Like, oh my God, I'm freaking out. I forgot to tell them I got like three stitches when I was six. Dude, it's not shit like that, bro. Like, I'm sure you're fine. Like, if you omit something like that, you can't remember every little cut and bruise and nick and thing that happened, dude, since you were a little baby. Sometimes you forget little tiny things. It's these big things you never want to omit. I would never tell anybody to lie about hiding asthma or hiding, like, a childhood mental disease or mental disorder or freaking something that could come up and hurt you. I, I tell you guys all the time, Navy boot camp is probably one of the most stressful things you'll do if you're if you're joining at a young age. If you're joining at a young age like I did, it's extremely stressful and it could exacerbate symptoms. It can make conditions that you have and that you're trying to hide worse. So I don't know why this lady's son got kicked out of Navy boot camp. Some people get nervous and just start spouting out all this stuff. Like, oh wait, uh, it's like you, I know what it's like, bro. I know what you guys are going through. You get scared, you get nervous, you start saying all these things that you never told MEPS that you're just thinking of randomly, oh man, the Navy's gonna find this out and I'm gonna get kicked out and I'm gonna go to prison. No, dude, like I said, if you're freaking out over about a couple stitches that you had when you were a kid and like you forgot, you're not lying. It's like this big shit, dude. I've never told anybody. Okay, so I'm sorry about your son that he got kicked out. A lot of people get aren't right for the military. It's actually harder to get into the military than college, right? Anybody can go to college. Anybody can go to community college, right? Not any, everybody can join the military, dude. It's actually very, there's so many little freaking things. All right, so um, just like, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I've just never, uh, just, I don't even answer those questions anymore, to be honest. When people tell me all their little crazy situations, like, hey, like, can I join the military, this and that, should I lie about this or that? I don't even respond to those DMs or messages, bro. It's just like, do I, I'm not a MEPS doctor. I'm not a freaking doctor, bro. I'm just a washed up semen. So uh, whatever you and your recruiter talk about, and your parents and your family and your recruiter and other people, Take all that into, um, you know, what's the word? Get a bunch of different sources of information, right? Don't just take my word for it, your recruiter's word for it, the internet's word for it, your parents' word for it. Get, uh, like what your teachers say when you're doing a research report. MLA format, at least six sources cited. 
if you're smart, you use Wikipedia, and then you go down to the bottom of Wikipedia, and you see the, the sources that Wikipedia used, and then you go to the direct source. You don't use Wikipedia. But yeah, that's about it, man. Um, I just wanted to make this video, dude, because uh, I just felt like uh, it just had to be made. Freaking parentals, parentals emailing me, dude, saying that it's... Come here. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I just want to come out with this quick little video. I've been, I've been really uh, freaking crazy busy this month, dude, with other stuff and other projects. But uh, I really want to get back on the grind with the Seaman JT Suits channel. I'm going to be giving some uh, new Patreon member shoutouts as well. We got some new Patreon pledges in the next video coming out. We'll be shouting you guys out. If you guys want to help support the channel more, check out my Patreon. Link in the description below. Shout out to the, like I said, to the parental units that support. And don't point the finger, bro. And just try to blame everyone else for your situations. Hey, yo, what up, fam? Follow Good Sailor, you know the brand. Rocking t-shirts and sweaters, rapping poppers playing. Click that link in the description. Go and check out what you're missing.